got us a load of junk. Well, here's the two latest additions to my junker fleet. This is a 1974 White Road Boss with an 8B71 and a 15 speed in it. It runs and drives. But for right now, this is a 1979 White Road Boss 2. It's got an NTC 290 Cummins in it, which is a turbocharged 855 or 14 liter. The story on this truck, a guy had it and uh, had it kind of fixed up and road ready and was getting ready to start using it, hauling some grain and stuff around locally. He had it parked at his house, and for whatever reason, it took off rolling. Rolled backwards down a hill, hit a tree, knocked the rear drive axle completely out from under it. Knocked the front drive axle sideways. I don't know if you can tell that, but that axle's not sitting straight. And bent the frame in a few places as far up as underneath the cab. It also cracked the bell housing all the way around. Now, let me show you that now. So as you can see that bell housing is busted all the way around there and it actually goes all the way across to the other side. It's busted all the way over the top and then down into there. So that's no good. Uh, what I want to do today is try to get this thing started. I have not started it yet and I don't know for sure how long it's been since it's been started. I know for sure that it's been well over a year. I figure it's probably been closer to two to three years. Look at this goofy air filter setup. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. So it draws air in right there, and then in the same spot on the other side. And apparently there's an air filter in that box in the middle. I think I'll just do an air filter delete because I don't need an air filter anyway. And then I'll probably get rid of this exhaust pipe coming off the back of this turbo turbine housing because I know nobody wants this to have a muffler on it, and neither do I. And then I'm probably going to have to do something about this because I got a feeling that flywheel is going to be grinding on the bottom of the flywheel housing if I don't uh, pick the back of this engine up somehow. So I think I'll take a bottle jack and a board jack on the bottom of the oil pan and pick that back up get the bottom of the flywheel out of a bind All right, air filter gone. Exhaust coming straight out of the turbine housing. Got it jacked up down there. It didn't really move much. I think it did come up just a little bit. So we'll see if it sounds terrible when I start cranking on it. I guess the only thing left to do is check the oil and check the coolant. We don't really need any coolant anyway, but we might need some oil and start cranking on it.
I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got oil in it. Looks delicious. I almost want to take a drink. Alright, I think it's going to run. I have got a plan for this truck in the future. Some of you guys can probably guess what that is. I guess that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching.